So, we have uh, one small issue with uh, sometimes, well usually this happens with the keyboard, but I'm guessing if we button mass the controller, we'll do it as well, is that we kind of are getting in a lock and we cannot actually move. So let's see if we can replicate. Yeah, so uh, pretty much button masked the attacks, all of them together. Okay, it doesn't always happen, but here's the thing. We have on the controller, we can see that I'm actually saying that I'm interacting. I could just move around. But if I go now onto the animator itself and on the parameters, you will see that I'm, yeah, I'm still interacting, but I'm still in the empty uh, here on the empty state. And you can see is interacting is still true, even though this should have been uh, taking care of this. Okay. And so with that, in mind, I think we could find the replication. Oh, well, I know the fix for this, which is really simple. We're going to move this from the on enter into the on update state. But let's see if we can replicate it. So I think if we button mass, right when we attack or when it's returning back to Yeah, so if you break away from uh, when it tries to play the animation, so there's going to be a few frames that it will play both of these animations. So this will turn it uh, true because from the script you are turning it to true, but because you have moved to this state and uh, you are changing the animation, then that means it's the one that making this as tick. Okay, but yeah, for some reason, it actually reset it then again. So let's do the easy fix for this because obviously it's a, it's a simple case to, it's a simple edge case and it's a simple fix as well so that we can move later on to better things and simpler ones. Let's see though, we need to edit the script. It, it opens the consumables, which is a bummer. And we want this, yeah, yeah, okay. Let's close that. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to say update or set an update. Okay, then we can use the override public on state update. Okay, and simply I'm going to copy this and paste it in here. And it's going to do the same thing. So no matter if you are on this state, so if you are always on the empty state in the animator, yeah, of course, we should probably handle it like this. So if set on update, just to make sure we do not break any other uses of this script. Okay. And I'm just going to tick set on update. So for everywhere that for any time that I'm actually just cycling through the empty idle state, then it's going to keeping the is interacting to false. Let's test this and see that we are, can actually we do not actually break anything else. And true enough, we actually do. So might not be that easy of a fix. So yeah, as you can see, we now have another problem. So probably that's not the way to do this. 
that's not the way to do this because we are using a crossfade so that means whenever you exit the state however we should yeah okay let's try this so whenever it's going to exit the state it's also going to allow it to yeah okay that worked but there's a few frames that there is some sliding around as you can see which I'm not particularly fond of so no we have to find another fix so let's ignore that and let's go to our scripts and I'm going to go under controller and let's see well let's try first with play target animation and the simplest fix would have been to say that if you are interacting so if you are uh, if this is already true don't play any of this animation don't do it don't play the animation anymore okay however we should take a look and see because we might be assigning the action before we actually do this so as you can see we can we are also assigning the cost of the action and we can say is null or empty current action animation okay yeah so basically we should filter out all of these although i think we are doing that yeah we are already doing that so i think it's probably one of the other actions one of the other animations that is doing the problem so we see we have our roles basically let's check that make sure none of these are under and can be done when you are interacting okay so the roles are correct step back is inside the role so that's correct as well the empty mm. yeah okay maybe this is an issue maybe the check ground is an issue so let's say if is on air target animation yeah no this will move you away and it will also reset the easy direction so that should probably be fine along with this I'm not so sure for these two but they don't right now they do not seem that uh, much of a culprit okay so this is still inside the interaction so we should be good with this at least play target animation okay do combo it's what we need so this place inside the easy interaction on interact animation let's see i think it could be an interaction so on interact it plays with okay this place with the door hook well technically this will also be let's see what do we use this interaction handle directions yeah this will also be if you're not interacting so if states dot is uh, or if controller is interacting only then you can do that and maybe you want to also include the interactions th but i think for right now we didn't actually have it wasn't the culprit so we should keep looking to be honest 
Okay, let's see. This will do the direction. This will do the other direction. The combo we need. Let's go direct. And that's the on damage. So maybe this is actually. No, this will make the player react animation. So we should be good from this as well. Same with this. So right now only these two are seem to be the culprits. Okay, so this will make you play on uh, on the air to be on the air, and this will make you just stay on the empty. So it could be the case that we are actually off the ground for a little bit, but to know this, we can simply add a target animation debug log for here for what animation we are going to try and play and we can just try and recreate it and see if we can actually get it to happen which I think we sh we wouldn't let's see it seems we'll keep moving normally yeah here it is okay so there's one that actually returns you an empty animation the only problem with this is that we don't actually know but it could be from one of the actions we have so if we go onto a player controller and we can check a current actions although we do have Action one, attack one. We do have the party. Yeah. So at least these ones seem to be fine for now. Unless we have the alternate animation. Oh yeah, here it is. It's the alternate animation, I think, that is the problem. And if we go on to the animator, you will see that it says is interacting, but we are still in the empty. Yeah. So here's another thing we can do. We can say if string dot is null or empty, target animation, then don't do anything. Simply return and throw a debug log for trying to play an animation with no name save that minimize get clear and then let's just see Yeah, I think that's where it is. When we are out of uh, stamina, we're going to get that. So we didn't really had to do with the actions. Yep, here it is. Okay, so we eliminated that because now we can actually just attack normally. Okay, so that's one more bug down. Now let's see what else could we do. Well, technically, this should be a sufficient uh, part, even though we only did one thing. But you know, learning how to debug this is also a viable option, even if it's just even if it just ends to three lines. So, yeah, and the rest of the, th of the stuff that I want to work is actually with how we can nav navigate through the inventory and through the UI canvas. So I guess it makes sense to, to finish the part here. So that's what we're going to do. As always, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and if you like to see more stuff of like this in a um, longer length, as we usually do, 
then consider supporting my patrons so we can keep making all of these nice things we're making. I'll see you next time.